Can you share your name, where you work, and what level you are? My name is Pong Exumba Chai. Uh, I'm a principal engineer at Pinterest. How long have you been at Pinterest? Uh, I've been at Pinterest for uh, almost nine years now. Oh, okay, it's a long time. I'm wearing the Pinterest shirt in your honor. We actually worked together at a startup, and we joined Pinterest through this acquisition. So it's cool to kind of see you grow through the company. Can you talk about what team are you on and what technologies you're using? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm on the ATG team at Pinterest, so it's the Advanced Technology Group. Uh, so the idea of the team is that we work on, um, I guess, like cutting edge GML to improve, uh, improve the product in one way or the other. Primarily, we, we use uh, PyTorch uh, as our modeling, uh, you know, uh, deep learning framework. And um, but my work, you know, is more on the, I guess, like the infra uh, side of things. So I touch everything, you know, from C++, Java, you know, Python, yeah. <laughs> basically. Yeah. Right. And I imagine at the principal engineer level, your scope is broad enough that you're interacting with tons of teams, not only within ATG, but also maybe across the whole company. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So basically, um, we we do have like an official uh, ML platform team at Pinterest. So definitely, you know, work really closely with them. Um, ML teams at Pinterest that that do uh, modeling for the product in some way. Uh, so, you know, whereas teams from uh, core, ads, uh, and so on. As a principal engineer, L8, very senior level, what would you say is the most important skill that lets you succeed and, and thrive at that level? I would say the most important skill for a principal engineer is uh, the technical communication. Once you get to a certain level, you can't really do it by yourself. So the ability to, let's say, work through uh, someone else, uh, delegate tasks, and so on is pretty important. When you need to work through someone else, uh, having really efficient communication between you know you and them uh, is actually really important. You need to be able to ask like the right, right questions and so on, right, so that you can uh, extract information that you need uh, from them to make the technical guidance. How does that manifest? Because you could do you know email, you could do one-on-one -on -one meetings, you could do a group meeting, you could um, you know go into all hands and present to the whole company, right? So what are those? How do you figure out? What are the ways to communicate in all the different mediums that you have available to you? Um, so I guess it depends on you know what what kind of things you you want to do right but for um, I think like technical guidance uh, I, I feel one-on-one uh, -on -one is the best uh, mainly because it's much more uh, interactive than others. So basically you know uh, you you ask a question and then you you get like the response uh, right away. Otherwise, you know, if you do it through email or Slack, uh, having a technical discussion there is uh, definitely not, not easy. Another principal engineer, uh, what advice would you have to share with them? You have a lot more eyes on you than, than what you think. You're actually like a really big part in, I guess, like setting the right uh, engineering culture. You want people to be, you know, really technical. You want people to write code. The first thing they would do is look uh, at the principal engineer, uh, right? See what yeah. kind of example that uh, he's, he or she set. You're effectively a role model for not only your team, but perhaps your whole org. That comes with a certain level of responsibility that you're impacting a lot of people. You know, I think for a lot of people who enter, who start off their career, they look up at these senior levels, you know, staff, senior staff, principal engineer, and it's actually kind of hard to really tell the difference. Like, how is senior staff different from principal? So I'm curious in your career journey, did you, was there a moment where you felt like, okay, now I'm going from staff to senior staff, or now my scope has evolved to go from senior staff to principal? Was that a conversation you explicitly had with your manager? Like, hey, now I'm operating at that scope? Or did it feel a lot more organic that, okay, I'm just doing more and more work and I'm getting rewarded for that in the career ladder? At the end of the day, uh, you're kind of responsible for your career in a sense. So basically, if your goal is to get to more of like a senior position, you should have a, a plan in mind of uh, how to get there. If you are performing well at like senior level and so on, what would organically happen is that your manager would trust you more, uh, right? So it opened your door to projects with right. bigger scopes. But still, you know, it's kind of like a curse at the same time as well, because now uh, you have like a lot of choices to, to pick from basically on yeah. what to do, uh, right? Mm. Thinking about, you know, uh, the project as a whole rather than, you know, just like from certain aspect, right? So you, you probably need to think about, you know, how technically complex uh, it is, uh, how much uh, impact uh, it would be able to have, uh, you yeah. know, the scope itself. Maybe like an extra thing, right? Uh, p knowing, you know, which project to pick would be like right. a pretty important skill. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, so it sounds like step one is just do really good work at that level, build up that trust, and then that trust will afford you optionality to pick a project or a scope that will then get you to the next level. And then it, it's kind of another skill altogether of how do you evaluate what project is going to get you to where you want to go. 